Tara and I actually met on, um, on the jury at DNAD in 2016. We judged direct together. To meet another chick that's working in Australia as a CD is kind of rare. You know, I think there's a lot of really great initiatives in the industry already. Things like quotas are helping, but um, not fast enough. And we're losing diverse talent faster than we can attract them. I called Tara, I'm like, <laughs> enough is enough. We need to do something about this. We want to turn RIA into a platform that continuously connects and supports the industry's RIA talent to give diversity a more united and louder voice within our industry. I think a key thing for the people who are here is to maintain the network that this is the beginning of, to make this a movement. You don't just get there under your own steam, but you work with other people. You've got to forge those links and engage and reciprocate and make them part of your life. People have felt entitled who were not necessarily entitled, and you can feel entitled too. There was a point of view, and that point of view was becoming authority. How do you see it through when there's opposing forces? I don't know, you've got to just do it, right? I mean, uh, twice I've been on national television apologizing in 9, 9 p.m. news for things that I didn't ask for permission and did, and, and yet we did it, and I never told the agency, don't do it. If I had one message for the industry, it would be just sort your shit out. Diversity makes better work. Uh, it just has to happen. The ladies' toilets. I mean, I could probably have a party there for four days and no one would come in. We're all black people. <laughs> I always come to these types of events and, and I do it because uh, hopefully somebody will see me and then when somebody like me, male or female, comes up and they are less afraid of hiring somebody that doesn't look like them, talk like them, act like them, and not only not afraid, but embrace it because they know it's going to make the creative work better. Everyone stand up for one second, go for it. We'll stretch it out, and we'll get the beers out, we'll be fine. Like fearless authenticity with who you are and what you believe is probably one of the most powerful things that I've um, experienced um, ever. It's a weird perspective of risk now because every day I'd pretty much, like, almost die. Identity is everything. And um, I think it's something that everybody should explore. If we just focus on that media and that push for white supremacy, it's going to be, you know, a miserable place. But I have hope because there's a lot of great people in the world and uh, we've got a room full of them here today. Where we're going to end up is with the outline for uh, a personal learning plan. One lesson that I would hope uh, that uh, all of the rare talent here would take away uh, is that the more that they can combine their, their creativity and their, their, their systematic thinking about how to take action for themselves in ways that improve their businesses, improve their industries, improve their communities, I think that would be my hope. My name is Varushka Darling and I'm going to be the auctioneer here. You know, we're raising money here today to send people to you know, the National Arts School on a scholarship to really give their career a, a kickstart. 160, will you do 170, sir? I'm sure you've got an extra 10 hiding in that beard. Amazing, that's gorgeous. I said, you know, how do you feel about being, you know, sort of an alumni for this, this uh, program? And they were just really blown away about how they could actually participate and contribute. What you've created here and what the team have created today and over the last few days, it's really a movement. And I think that's really powerful. In the industry, there are always talks about like creative thinking, coming up with big ideas, winning awards and things like that, but nothing's ever been targeted specifically towards unrepresented groups or underrepresented groups. It's really important to get together and kind of be inspired and talk to people who are like-minded. We don't get to be mediocre at our jobs. We always have to excel in order to be considered equal to anyone. So it's nice to see people who aren't necessarily classified as a minority also working towards this cause because it needs everybody. I thought it was great to open the discussion, to bring in more tangible actions. I'm even thinking of like, okay, how can I take some of these learnings and, and share it with my circle of people that I know back home. I've just been so inspired by the attendees and hopefully their brain hurts. They're going to go home and put in place some of the things they've learned um, and we just keep it going.